Well, I'm Joe Bishop, Bishop Backwoods uh, Survival. This morning, uh, me and uh, my buddy Jeremy Hardy went out hunting this morning. We're hunting crow, and uh, we shot seven, actually recovered four of them. And now what I'm doing is clean them. So what you gotta do is you go to the breast and you pull that skin down like so. And if you see right there, there's a little there's a little divot there. And what you wanna do is take your pocket knife. There. Hold the body firm. And it's kind of like cleaning a dove a little bit, except bigger. You get pulled back so far. and just cut there. I'll be careful because they got bones in there and they're sharp too so Take long clean one. I'll put that in a Ziploc baggie and I'll clean it up later after I get all of them. And you see what kind of meat that is. Big old piece of meat on there. Merce out. Remember what? That's one crew, actually. Two crow. I've got two of them clean. I got two breasts in there. There's claws. Well, a lot of people, a lot of people don't eat crow. But back in the day, crow was always on the menu. People got away from eating some of the stuff that they eat out in the wild because people think they got civilized, but like I said, crow, crows are plentiful. They taste good. Just not a lot of people eat them. People try them like anything else. They didn't like it, don't eat it. You know, that's how I am with that's how I am with most food. If I don't like it, I'll try it. If I don't like it, I don't eat it no more. But a lot of people won't even try it. They get out there and they turn their nose up at it. Whether it be squirrel or frog or snake or whatever. But if they get out there and try it and they realize, dang, that actually tastes pretty good. I tell people all the time that the only reason we don't eat horses because horses was transportation and a tool back in the day where a cow wasn't. A cow was actually 
instead of food because nobody was out there riding cows. Listen to some of the nursery rhymes and stuff about uh, blackbird pies and stuff like that, or eating crow, you know, stuff got ate. Especially when times are hard and stuff, but, you know. We called these in using a flex tone crow call and we're shooting on number six. Uh, I was using number six still. My buddy was uh, out of my 20 gauge and uh, he was using a 12 gauge, a Frenchy 12 gauge automatic. I was using a single shot. So we got, we're actually down seven and we recovered uh, out of seven we shot, we recovered four of them. One of them went into a, a slough full of water and we couldn't find him. And the other two fell into a bunch of uh, thicker brush and we couldn't find them either. If we would have, I've been cleaning them too. Average shot was about 35 yards. We had one that was actually we hit the same bird at the same time. It was probably about a 45 yard shot, which is pretty good for bird shooting, I guess. Are my four crow breasts there. I still gotta do a little bit of cleaning up on get some feathers off of it and I'm gonna soak it in a salt water brine and probably gonna uh, bread them with a uh, flour and yellow cornmeal and deep fry them. I'm Joe Bishop, Bishop Backwood Survival. By the way, this is a, this is the uh, 20 gauge that I, I did a video on. I didn't never do a shooting video, but this this little gun shoots really good. Uh, it's a Hatfield 20 gauge. Got a 28 inch bent rib barrel. Holds a really good pattern. 
actually holds tighter power than what I need to be hunting birds with. But uh, it works, and uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, like I said, I was shooting. That's what I was shooting out of it. Upland steel, done pretty good. We got set up pretty good this morning. I made some decoys and uh, we're using that game call. The birds come to it pretty good. Uh, Till you got a couple shots off and then they'd circle back around and uh, didn't want to have anything to do with you after that. So I'm Joe Bishop, Bishop Backwood Survival. If you ain't practicing your skills, when it comes time to use it, you won't have it. So get out there and practice.